that thing, or if you go through there, down the hall, there's a closet. No, 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 you can't be doing that, and please don't photograph me. You need to leave, please. I don't want to be in your video. Wait, why do I have to leave? What did I do? Yeah, which I have every right to do. This is a public building. This is a public place, but you're also violating human rights. I'm violating human rights? Yes. I'm violating human rights by putting them on a camera. Yes. Well, to take because people's photographs, you do have to have their consent. No, I don't. It's, Minnesota is a one-party uh, one consent state. And you sitting here talking to my camera doesn't help it. So if you don't want to be on camera, there's no point of talking to me. I, I was here to talk to the front desk. Right. I'm right. My right. Okay, well, I don't need it, so that's unfortunate. So how you, so how you doing? Okay, one. Phone numbers. Mm -hmm. People's names. Okay. People's office numbers. Mm -hmm. That's all behind closed doors. Okay, so now let me speak and tell you that. If you don't want something to be seen, don't lay it out in public. Because for... Well, when, no, listen, hold on. Let me speak. It's not, very rude. it's not very nice. So if something is laying out in the public, and I'm walking, and I, I look at it, you're not going to say, hey, don't be looking at that. But since I have a camera, you're going to treat me different. That's public information. If I really wanted, I could public records request that and get that in a heartbeat like that. I'm not trying to be rude, man. I'm just saying, like, I asked you to see your ID and, or your, your name tag, and you said no. Then I, I asked. I also asked you to leave because you were making a number of employees uncomfortable. Well, they're, well, just because they're uncomfortable doesn't mean that it trumps my right to film in here. You were also in a state building. Right. That's, that's the whole reason why I'm here. We yeah. have a license center. This well, is also where people hand over. Okay, but am I filming that right now? Yes. Was I filming yeah. that? Was there anybody there? Was is anybody there? You have to have a data request form for certain parts, certain parts of information that you like. Ma'am, I'm I'm here. Proper channels, and I would be happy to show you how to do that. Okay, but right now I'm not trying to. It's cheap. Okay. And I believe this gentleman would like to. Hey, how are you doing today, sir? Good. Let's talk down here. Can I get your name? Greg. Come on. Okay, he's not even. He's, what are you? You're a security officer? No. Conservation officer. Okay. All okay. right. So let me get that name just in case. You can film all you want, pal. Okay. So the, you're literally when we go down there, you're just going to tell me you have the right to film here? No, I, this is where public comes in and talks. So if you want to have a conversation, we go down here and have a conversation. Okay. We're still in the building. Right. We don't want to take away. Am I being detained right now? No. Okay. So you're one of those guys that's going to film everything that happens and I don't have a problem with it. But okay. Let's talk down here so we're not. Well, sure, but I'm not going to leave the building. Okay, but you're not going to film our employees inside our building. Okay, can I can I ask you why is that? Why do I not have the right to do that? Because it, we have the right to control what's in our building. Okay, correct. Okay. So if you want to go out on the sidewalk and film, you can you can do that okay. in a public place. All right. But once you start disrupting mm -hmm. our business, mm -hmm. then we have an issue. Okay. So here, let me tell you this. This is a uh, tax funded building. Yep. So you unfortunately can't kick me out because I haven't uh, I haven't broken any law. I haven't done anything. No laws have been broken. I haven't broken a law. So I mean, you could call St. Paul Police Department, which are right over there. They'll come here and let you know the exact same thing. I do this all over St. Paul. I'm, I'm happy for you. Okay. But what I'm telling you is we can control right. what happens inside our building. Right. Right. I mean, you can. And you, if, you, if you become disruptive mm -hmm. and are filming our employees, mm -hmm. then we're going to ask you to step up. Right. Okay. So I have the right to film I, in this. Listen, I'm not okay. going to sit and argue with you all. I'm not listen. arguing. I'm just trying to I'm educate you. I'm what the deal is. Uh huh. And it's your decision whether or not mm -hmm. you're going to. You can hang out in here all day long if you want. Right. But I'm not going to have you filming employees as they're walking in. Okay, but I'm not gonna allow I'm not gonna allow you to infringe my right, uh, my First Amendment right to film in public. So I'm not gonna allow you to do that. So I'm gonna film, and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna film. It, you're not filming in here. Why is that? Because you've already disrupted. I haven't business. disrupted anybody. Just because somebody doesn't want on a, be on camera and then they make a big deal out of it, that's not my disruption. Not that's them. Okay. So. Right. So now what? 
Now you're going to be trespassed from the building. You can't trespass me from a public uh, building if I haven't down. if I haven't if I haven't committed a crime on on this premises. I cannot be trespassed from it because I pay for it. It's a tax funded building. Dude, if you if you try to trespass me, I will literally come back the next day and nothing will happen. I guarantee you it. We'll keep charging you. Huh? Then we keep charging with trespass. You can't charge me with trespass because you can't trespass me. Just call call St. Paul Police Department. Call St. Paul Police Department. I'm trying to help you and give you the information to educate yourself and you're not allow you're not taking it in and you're not educating yourself. You got ID on you? No. Not for you. Of course you don't. Not for you. Well, we'll deal with it then. Okay. Let's step right here. And we'll unfortunately, call Saint Paul PD. unfortunately, I'll be standing right here, sir. You want to give St. Paul? A yes. Just have him swing over here. Yeah, they'll swing over here. So you do this all over? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. Do you do this on the daily? You're trying to infringe on people's rights too? Is this what you do here? Well, it seems that that's what you're doing to me. Man, I don't really appreciate that. I mean, how would you feel if someone was infringing your rights? Wouldn't you feel a little upset? I dealt with folks that do exactly what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So you know what which to do, your, right? Which is your right. Right. It is my right. But not inside a building when you disrupt business. I'm not disrupting business. You're filling our employees at the front. Because I have every right to do so. And if they decide to create a... a to get upset or whatever they want to do, they'll have a little freak out. That's them. That's not me. I didn't. I didn't do that. Because I, what I'm doing is constitutionally protected activity. So it's unfortunate. Hey, you can't film that. No. You Sir, that has stuff on it you're not supposed to be putting on film. <laughs> so I need to see what you just... You're the one that's supposed to close that. You're the one that's not supposed to be shut. Come here because you can't get take off with that. Am I saying? Yes, you are because you're going to have to delete that. You have people's personal information on that on that camera. Is that a felony or a misdemeanor? It'll be a misdemeanor. Just and I just caught you doing it. So you need to delete that portion of the video, please. Just that single portion. If you don't, I'm going to have to take the phone for having... I am the sergeant, yes. I'm going to have to take your phone if you don't... No, he's not. Yes, I can. I, I can seize the phone for evidence right now. I seize my phone for evidence unless you have a warrant. Take this. Stand right there. He just videotaped my, my cat open. They just videotaped my cat open, and it's got her personal info on there. Because he's sticking his pin, he's sticking his phone in my car. He's going to violate. I want my money. He's also trying to violate my fourth amendment rights. Because I'm securing my paper and my effects. We know what we're doing. We've done this for a while. That's exactly why we're doing it too. Okay. It. It, it, it's in public. You left it open, Sarge. Okay, but whatever. Train your, train your sergeants, Chief. A training, a training officer like that needs to know better. These guys right here, bad guys, don't follow his direction. I do know, bud. Move on. You threatened this guy with arrest. Yeah, I did. I can do that, but I've been directed let's not go, to, so y'all leave. Sergeant, am I free to go? You're free to go, okay, bud. Okay, then if I'm free to go, I'm free to stay. Let's go. Okay, whatever. Well... You didn't have to do that. It wasn't necessary. It is necessary, bud. Come on. Just move on. I'm not talking to you about it anymore unless you unless you got something else to say. Dude, you're a hothead. You got issues, man. I bet I do. What are you going to arrest me for then, huh? Because I, I guarantee you, you right anything, now. Bud. I guarantee you. You also, haven't done anything. I, I, Listen to me. Okay. You're not the one that did anything. That's not a misdemeanor. You said that's a misdemeanor. Yes, it is. It's not. No, it's. What is okay. it? What, what's the code? What is it? All right. Yeah, what, what, what is it? Disorderly conduct? What is it? Go yeah, listen to him. Go inside. Go. <laughs> Servant, go inside. Yeah, do it. Do do what he says. He's the boss. Dude, I. You guys have guard? Or you I do. I'll give you a guard. Audit. What are you doing? That's what we're doing. We're doing an audit. Show him the video. Hey, 
Hey, I got the. Carbon needs a little work. If you just pass, sir. Andrew, Andrew, I got it rolling. Show him the video. What? Oh, you want to see it, dude? You you need to show you him. You need to show him. Show I don't him. I want to come a bit video off right now. Well, what's up? Right, Have this one going. Have this one going. And show what's him. Right. What's up? Right. What's up? All right. All right, Archie. Thank you, guys. We'll, we'll speak with the chief. I'll give him your card Monday when he comes in. Very good, Chuck. Very good. Right. I've been in the area. I'm surprised you guys don't realize what we're doing. Yeah, I do. We're just videoing. Yeah. That's it. He went up to the window, and I guess I don't. I was over here. He videoed through the window, and then uh, Sarge came out and says, "Well, you can't I'm do gonna, that. I'm going to take your phone as evidence. It's a misdemeanor. You're going to, you know, it, it's just ridiculous what he was saying." He said, I'm going to take your phone. It's evidence to a misdemeanor. And he couldn't say what it was or what the crime was. And he didn't do anything. The other guy didn't do anything because they, they weren't going to do anything. They knew better. Uh, been here before. Yeah. What was that officer's name? Sergeant Evans. Sorry? Sergeant Evans. Evans, you, does he have a badge number? Uh, we use, like, call numbers. So okay. I don't, we don't, I don't, I don't memorize it. Is this unit number, number on the vehicle? So is that the same? You don't use a different number than what's we on the use a, We have a different number yeah, for our vehicles and one for what we what's call What's his call number? This would be 303. 303, okay, thank you. But I, well, you got to look at it like this. If he's, the, if he's the shift supervisor and you're gone at home, these guys, in a sense, have to do... How old are you? Me? 22. 22. These guys essentially have to do exactly what they're told. Regardless if they agree with it or not, I mean, well, it, well that's not that's not the case. Well, right? they didn't I'm, they didn't I'm not say anything. Get into an argument with you and either, okay? Uh, no, 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 I'm not arguing with you, man. I've been, I've been doing this I'm, for 24 no, years. No, hey, I'm not arguing with you. Fist bump? Okay. I'm not arguing. I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm yeah. just I'm just well, saying. You you keep bringing stuff up, trying to get it going again, and I'm not going to do that. No, I, that's not that's not okay. what I'm doing. Can I have you guys back up one? But I would ask you stay till we leave because. You know, he's going to try to follow me well, to my vehicle. Because I'm trying to go home. Like I said, I've been here for over 12 hours. Oh, okay. Then, okay. I mean, if you... So, I'm waiting on you. You're free to go. Okay. Well, he wants me to hang out until y'all leave. So. I'd, I'd like for you so I don't don't get pulled over. I'm not going to pull you over unless you bring the traffic crash. Well, you know, come on. We know the good old boy crossing the line, all that. Yeah, we've seen it far too much. Far and wide. Say that again? You realize I'm in public, right? Yes, you do realize you're in public. You realize I'm not one of your inmates, right? Absolutely. So maybe you shouldn't even be talking to me. Oh, well, maybe you shouldn't be in front of the business. Well, that, that's how you feel, but that ain't the law. So you're recording for what? Can I have your name and badge number? Right here, officer terms 8529. Can I have your name and badge number, ma'am? Thanks, the boys are right there. Get the uh, so what's the problem with me, you well, know? You're recording the business, you know, we're trying to figure out why you're recording this. That's all. I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just gathering um, um, content for a story I'm doing. Well, right, okay. It's about it. Well, you should just say that. Nobody's giving I mean, you but, issues, but no, I understand that. But nobody's coming at you sideways, or nothing like that. Nah, I mean, I, I appreciate that, but you know, I really don't have to say anything. Usually, I just, you know, tell you to keep it moving. I don't have to say anything. Okay. I'm, you know, I'm well within the law right now. You know what I mean? Do you work here, man? Can you identify yourself? You're not gonna identify yourself? Yeah, but 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 you you work here. I, I'm in the public. I'm the public. Hey, you work here, right? I mean, I mean, she wanna come. You don't gotta be this route. You right. We got our vehicles out here. That's what we say. And, and there's no expectation of privacy, though, sir. Excuse me? There's no expectation of privacy in public. No, no, we get that, but we get some people that want to damage vehicles. So that's why we actually... I mean, y'all got cameras all over, man. Yeah. That, that's how y'all know I'm here, so... No, no, but no, we can be seen. Yeah, there's cameras all over, though, man. I don't, I don't really think people's going to come. I mean, I guess you said I, I guess you said it has happened, but... It has. That's why we at. Mm -hmm. That's why we at. You feel like identifying yourself now? Is it in your policy to identify yourself? Actually, we're not supposed to yes, Say that again? We're not supposed to identify ourselves. You're not supposed to identify yourself. Any media coverage at all. But media coverage, huh? I'm just a man. I'm just a man, a man in public with a camera. I don't know that. You know it now. Do you feel like identifying yourself? <laughs> you understand, you know, I'm not doing nothing illegal, right? 
before you say anything, can you identify yourself, ma'am? I don't have to, sir. Why? So I don't have to talk to you neither. You see that right there? That that makes you a tyrant, ma'am. That makes you a tyrant. Makes you a tyrant. No, by coming with an attitude like that. I have an attitude. Obviously, you. I, if I, all, all I asked you was. I don't have to identify. All right, so that that's a form. That's a form of disrespect, ma'am. So how about you get away from me and kick rocks? How about that? Cause, cause, cause you disrespecting me. Just, just uh, author, who authorized me? It's called the Constitution of the United States, man. I could record anything, whatever, I, cause I want to. Cause it, cause it's my born given right. That's why. You did give me attitude, and it's on camera. It ain't, it ain't about cursing. It's about. It's about you gave me attitude, man. All right, keep it moving, man. That's called the walk of shame, man. That's what that's called. You see, I was talking to you correct, man, because you came at me correct. As soon, yeah, but as soon as she comes and tells me like that with attitude, then everything goes out the window. Then you, then you're gonna see, then you're gonna see how I treat tyrants. You know what I mean? You have not did you you y'all haven't did nothing. Y'all didn't be y'all ain't get disrespectful. You didn't identify yourself, but really I don't care. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You did you didn't come stupid to me like she did. Yes. Probably not gonna answer. I mean, I answer, I mean depending, you know what I mean? Right, so you recording. You obviously have an issue. I have an issue. Let me take that back. It's an assumption. Oh yeah, all right. Do you have an issue? I don't have no issue. Why? Like I said, because it's my born given right. No, no, no. Obviously, we all have the right to do it. You don't have to answer that as a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm acting like, is there a motive behind it? Is there something where, like, research, like, what is your. That's what I'm asking. What is your motive? I really don't. I, to be honest, like, you know, I answered enough questions and I really don't need to and I don't no, want to anymore. You, you don't. I'm asking. Can you identify yourself, sir? Why? Why you got a camera? What do you mean? Because I want to. What's the problem with that? Why did you come over here if you see I have a camera and you don't want to be... I see my staff over here speaking to you. And you see enough of them, right? There's, there's enough of them out here if something was to happen, man. Or, or they can't handle themselves. That's what you're telling me? Or, or are y'all scared? Y'all something... A camera makes y'all nervous? Because that's kind of ridiculous, you know? So would, would, can you identify yourself, sir? Nah, not really. All right, so get the hell away from me then. If you're not going to identify yourself, I'm not going to talk to you. You need to get in your building, kick rocks. That's what you need to do. Yo, come. Yeah, yeah, come. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be right here, right? I'm going to be right here, you clown. Oh, yeah, that's what y'all looking for, right? That's what you're looking for? That's what you're looking for? Uh, nah, you, you don't know me. You don't know me, homie. For, for you to be saying that, you clown, tyrant. Out of here. Look at this fat tyrant. Where he at? You can't even see that. Fat. They abuse the kids in here. And I say kids because, like I said, this is a juvenile center. These guys, they need to know that I'm not an inmate and they can't treat me the way they are. Right here in the white shirt. You know, tyrants, man. You realize I, I didn't even come at you, right? I didn't. I ain't come at you. Why? Because you was respectful towards me. You know what I mean? You was respectful. You identify yourself, no problem. But this guy and the, and the other one, I see it runs in the white shirts, right? Because this white shirt and then the other white shirt said the same thing, man. Is that that's what you trained to do, sir? Huh? You don't want to talk to me? Yo. Yo, what what exactly do you think the cops is gonna do? But tell you that I'm in my I'm in the right. Do y'all realize that? Y'all don't know nothing about the law, do y'all? I will I will humbly wait for the cops here and go off also. How would you like that? Sounds good? Stay stick around for you can watch it then. Maybe maybe y'all get educated today. <laughs> Yeah, but but did I come at you, ma'am? You 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 ain't come at me. You ain't come at me, so I ain't come at you. Have not had no words to say 
Why y'all feel offended now? Because I was nothing. Yeah, because y'all, because there's a whole bunch of y'all in here, Sam. Not to mention, I come from the hood. So what does that mean? What does that mean that you come from the hood? Are you serious? Are you, are you, are you serious? Morales inside, Morales. What does that mean? You still an idiot. You still an idiot. That doesn't mean nothing. See what I mean? I, that, that just shows me that I can't be respectful towards y'all, man. Because that, that's what happens. I never came at her side. You think they're going to arrest me or something or tell me to leave? They can't tell me to leave. Do you realize that, right? You realize that you can't be trespassed from, from public property. And so, why, so was I to you. It, lo it looks like maybe that's your character, man. It looks like being a tyrant is what y'all do. How I'm trying to get paid? You don't know me. How, how am I trying to get? You don't know me. I'm trying to get paid. You don't know me. I'm going to wait for the cops to come. That's the problem with these people, man. They think they're above the law. Taking pictures? For uh, possible publication, working on a story. What's that? I'm not going to divulge that. What's that. I won't divulge that. Okay, how come? Because uh, I don't need to. It could uh, spoil the story I'm working on. Did you get permission from the city to... Okay, who are you? Can I get your name? Huh? Can I get your name? My name's Alan. Alan, nice yep. to meet you, Alan. My name is Ryan. Yep. You need to talk to the chief or anything? No, no, just taking pictures. I just need the pictures, that's all. Don't need it, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Good. Apparently the armory is all bent out of shape because you're taking pictures or something. Can I get your name? It's Sergeant Everett, Hibbing PD. You have a badge number, Sergeant? HI-108. Thank you very much. What's going on? Exactly what you see. Okay. Yeah. Is there, can I ask, is there a specific reason for your... Well, there's always a reason, but I'm not going to share it. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be on my way. Have a good day. You're going to stay here for a second. Are you detaining me? Yes. For what reason? H5 St. Louis. Apparently you are taking a call about a suspicious activity at the armory. I'm all with that mail. Because I would like to know what's going on. Now I've been very pleasant, I think, with you. And I asking you simple questions about what's going on and you may have a very legitimate reason. Can you explain that to me? Or you don't care to explain that? Okay, can I see your identification please? Have I broken a law? I don't know, but we okay. people take things very seriously when it comes to uh, public safety and military safety and if you've been walking around the property photographing things I don't think it's unreasonable for me to ask and find out what's going on. Now you asked me a few questions when I got here for my name and badge number and I was more than willing to provide that with you. Which I believe you're required to do. Yep. I'm not. Well, if uh, we have a reason to believe you may be involved in criminal activity, you, you are need a reasonable action. articulable suspicion yep. that I have am or I'm about to commit a crime to be able to detain so me. So what are you up so to? So what am I being detained for? For identification uh. purposes. In order to ID me, I had to have broken a law. H5 signals. Can I get another squad, please? Let's start a suspicious activity on 23rd Street, <laughs> Brooklyn Drive, all with one male. Non-compliant. Okay. So here's the thing. You can tell me who you are, and I can have you on your way very easily. 
and you can Here's the thing. Business. At this point in time, it's an illegal detainment because I have broken no law. Okay. I'm in the process of breaking no law, and I intend to break no law. You have no suspicious of any suspicions okay. of any of those three. Okay. So therefore, you have no right to detain me or try to ID me. That might be what you think. That's what I know. But you can tell me, and I can get you on your way. Am I being detained, or am yes. I free to go? No, you are not free to go. Okay. I, re I exercise my okay. right to remain silent. Where do you live at? Oh, I believe I just told you I'm exercising my right to remain you silent. Set your cameras down. No. You I have every right to record. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do right now, and you are going to follow my commands, or you're going to go to jail. I'm going to detain you in handcuffs. Are you his supervisor? No, nope, I'm the supervisor. Can I get your supervisor, Turn around, please? Put your hands behind your back. This is an illegal detainment. Go to the ground. Put it down. Comply. Is this a yes? You are. I am not at all. Nothing is tense. I'm completely loose. You got his yep. arm behind his back. Yep. I'm coming back. Sure hope you didn't damage your cameras. I sure hope you didn't. It's an illegal search. I do not consent to any searches or seizures of my person well, or property. Arrest, so yep. arrest for what? Con based on the U.S. Constitution, we have the right to search you under search incident to arrest. What are you arresting me for? Obstructing. Obstructing what? The legal process. What legal process? Any information on that? You shut that off. Please do not touch my stuff. Please do not. Touch well, my now you're going to jail. So for what? Obstructing. Obstructing what? I broke no laws. You were investigating no nothing. It's suspicious activity and when what, you're photographing. And what is that a misdemeanor yeah. or a felony? Suspicious activity, a misdemeanor or a felony, Sergeant? Which one is it? Wow. You are now illegally searching my backpack. We have a tail. We have an immediate tail. Yeah. Copy that. Right. Well, we got a, a tail on us. We're going to see what they do or don't do. I'm guessing we'll duck back into the uh, gathering place here in just a second. Are they on the trail here? Yes. Okay, news now. Okay, see, he's up there. He's kind of circling back. Yeah, sir. Okay. Hold up. Have you been asked to leave the park? Why? It's a city park. Right? It is not a city park. It's a private park. It's open to the public. Doesn't the city own the property? No, what they don't. This right here isn't this city property. It is not in the confines of the gathering place. This is private property. If they've asked you to leave, you can go secure your weapons. Feel free to come back and come in the park, or you just need to leave. It's owned by City Park. City Park. It is City, city River owned. Authority. It is not city owned. It's owned by the city. It says it's owned by him. In 2015, this property was seated. And it is. It is managed by the county. See that? It says it's owned by the city. Okay, I'm going to get a little here with me. So, okay. So, if you've been asked to leave by the park, I have not. Have you have not been asked to leave. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. The park has not asked for you to leave. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We'll just keep right on going here. So, yeah. All right. Barry, you want to let them know? We're doing the uh, dodge and weave here. We'll uh, just keep going. Well, I'm going to break off here. Maybe. You're not supposed to have guns in this type of vicinity. It's day law, ma'am. We sure can. You got a concealed to carry? Yes, yeah. ma'am. It can be stay locked, but if they ask y'all to leave, that means it ain't stay locked. Well, we got a local instigator doing the thing. Seems to happen on most of these. Not a big deal. Well, we just concerned about the Sir. Sir, security. Sir, camo hat with blue shirt. They're trying to make contact with me. Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir? You are not allowed to open carry in the park. 
I apologize for that, but you will have to take your weapon back to your vehicle. This is a publicly owned park owned by the River Parks Authority, sir. But falls under the state preemption that firearms are allowed, sir. We do not allow four weapons. Is that policy or law? Yeah, we need a couple more to go that way. Perry, can I get you to the great uh, Sky Garden? So I've got uh, paperwork says this is owned by the city of Tulsa. Falls under the state preemption. And I need supervisor. I have a supervisor on his way. He'll be able to explain. Well, that's fine. You can supervise all you need, but I've got paperwork in my pop work. Pay my pay. Paperwork. They've all been told to leave. I've never been told to leave. Today we'll have to ask Coming you. Out of oh, yeah. I've got a state preemption that says I can be here with my firearm, sir. This is owned clearly by the city of Tulsa. I've requested that he leave the contact. Contact is getting kind of aggressive. Copy aggressive. All right, I'm going to reach in my back pocket and pull out paperwork, y'all. Maybe. Got my poncho back there. You know, at this point, you can uh, you can call me Mike. Okay. Kaiser Foundation donates a gathering place to River Parks Authority. This park is clearly owned by the Tulsa River Parks Authority, and it is owned, okay. therefore, hey, by the city of Tulsa. Right. They, you are you are considered trespassing now. Right. They have asked you to leave. This is private right. property. Do you understand that? I don't they're, believe they're it's private giving, property. giving you the chance to leave right now. All right? Okay. Do you understand that? Where do I need to leave, sir? You need to walk off premises. And is that the walking that, strip that is, over there? That is under gathering, uh, gathering place property right there. Where is the nearest we, exit? We will guide you off. Then let's go for a walk. Right now? I'd like to leave right okay. now. Awesome. Quickest way is going to be on the outside edge, Mike. Right. Whichever is the quickest way out. Yep. That way will okay. be. Mike, go ahead and go that way. Thank you for giving me your first name, Mike. Yep, no problem. Uh, Mr. Love, yep. Mr. P.W. Lasky, yep. Wilkerson. Hey, where's your uh, concealed carry license? It's in my pocket, sir. Okay. Go ahead and grab that for me. Thanks, bud. But there. I can't read that far. I'm going to, re I'm going to retain it. Here, let sir, me have I'm your license. I need sir, to look at it. You may look at it in my hand. I can't see it in your hand. Well, you're trying it. to take it from me. And I don't no, I'm not going to take it from you. I promise I won't take it. Film me. I'm not going to take it. Let go I would so like I to show it to you in my hand. You're, would you, you hold my radio? Yeah, you don't have that. Don't, don't do have this. That you don't want that. You don't want to do that. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks. He's not going to take it, he's going to give it back to you. The gentleman that we have stopped and detained is Michael J. Boesky, B O E S K E R. The Mike and dispatch folks. This is Mike. Okay. I'm going to give you a name. Please let us an illegal run. What is your name, sir? You've got a valid license, and then we'll just escort you off. What is your name, sir? Sergeant Chris Witt. Badge number? 527. Thank you, sir. You want me in the back or the front, sir? Back, please, sir. SEK, come with me. Sir, I need you to understand this is private property. You are now trespassing. If you come back on, you will be subject to arrest. Do you understand that? I don't understand that, but... Uh, okay, you, you, you are more than welcome to fight that in court, but right now, you are not, you are on private property. Is that understood? For today, sir, yes. Correct. 